All right. I guess I guess it is official that it's not gonna be called the 800 series anymore. It's gonna be called the, the 900 series. And I was kind of I was ex I wasn't that excited because I was actually hoping for the 800 series. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway because it, I guess I'm waiting for the 1080 to come out. The performance isn't bad. It's not like it's a performance issue or anything like that. Cause it's not. It's just that it kind of sucks that they they renamed it and they didn't go with the 800 series. But it just it's just a number. Right? It's just, okay, resolution is not a number, if you guys are going to that. Uh, so we got the benchmarks up, we got some little things we want to talk about. Not too much, I'm going to really wait for some validation on when the car launches on the 19th when it comes out. Um, and I'm going to be watching that event on NVIDIA's website, Game24, hope you guys remember. Uh, if you can't make it there, you go in and you watch on the website. So they're going to live stream for 24 hours. And I want to see the card and what the card can do. And also, don't keep in mind that this is going to be the this this is going to be the first card to really support full support for DirectX 12, and not like partial support like these other series, the 600. I don't know if the 500 series is supported, but the 6 and 700 series are going to support it. Maybe the 500 series, maybe I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, but the 800, the 900 series is going to be the card to support full Dark X12. Have all the instructions and all that stuff inside of there. Um, so we're going to take a look at this, this this chart right here, which was done with uh, the Five Strike and theoretical. Okay, let's just we're doing the quotations. Okay, we're waiting for uh, for validation. I'm waiting for validation to see what the, if these are actually true. So. We got on top the R9 295X2. And yeah, you're like, oh no, what? What's going on? I should get the AMD. Stop your horses. Okay, because it's not that big of a difference. And second, these are beta drivers. The scaling on them are not maybe that great. I don't know. But NVIDIA is going to put out newer drivers that will help them make the car scale better and SLI. These are SLIs and crossfire configuration, two cars at the same time. So you got that, you got the 980 right there at the bottom, just slightly below. Okay, and again, these it has to be a driver issue. It, these are tested with the beta drivers. I think it's uh, version 2.43, I believe, in version uh, 2.45. Am I, I'm gonna get 200, not 2. Dot, 230, two, God, I don't remember the version of the drivers. Uh, 245 is gonna be a stable driver. And but I kind of have a problem with that driver because what Nvidia decided to do was they decided to actually say, well, if you don't have, um, if you have an Nvidia graphics card and an AMD graphics card inside of the computer at the same time, they're going to disable physics. And I wanted to really smack them in the face for that because that's that's absurd. That's stupid and crazy. Okay, I understand. But just, just put out some notification to say, hey, you know, well, if you use another graphics card, you can get performance issues. I don't care. The AMD card is really rendering my videos really fast. And NVIDIA doesn't really do anything. I don't know. It's just the setup. It's the program. This is how it works, okay? I can use the CPU, the GPU, and the videos are rendered at the same time. Maybe like a five-minute difference. So, no thank you. Um, but moving back on to the charts, okay? Moving back on to some uh, more information. Uh, these cards are going to be respect uh, again with validation, but there might be around 180 watts for the 980 and about 150 watts for the 970, which should be replacing the 780. It is also faster, as you can see in the chart at the bottom here below. You can see the 970 and then 780 right there. And of course, the 780 Ti is going to be the 980 is going to be faster than the 780 Ti. Of course, and then you got to see look, this. This is the, the the thing right here. As you can see, the R9 290X, a single card right here, is right here. Okay, it has 11,224 points, and then you got the 980 right here with 12,328 points. So again, this is why I said it's a scaling issue, and the video is going to fix that in future driver updates. So. It doesn't really matter what team you go for. I mean, when it comes to graphics cards, it really depends on a lot of a lot, a lot of things really factor when it comes to getting a graphics card. You know, if you want physics or what, what kind of hardware you want, or is it all about pure speed for you? You don't matter. You, you know, it, it, it just varies. And whichever one you pick, 
it doesn't matter because they're so close, right? They're, they're close together. They overlap each They leap each other all the time. Leap dogging, you know, the frogs and everything. They just leap dogging and it doesn't matter because they're going to both be fast. The prices are going to be around 500 to 400 bucks or 500 for the seven, the, the 980 and like uh, $400 for the 970. These are rumors. I, I want to say that again. These are rumors. Okay. That's pretty good because you remember when the 780 came out it was $650. And now it's gonna be like 500 bucks. That's actually good. You're saving a little bit money there, you know, like 150 bucks. Uh, if it is true, uh, this could be different markets. Um, and they're not even out yet. So no one really knows, but that's the rumored price to be coming out. And if it did come out at that price, that'd be great. Again, for everyone, we all win. So AMD's gonna have to come back and put out something else. And it's just, it's just exciting to see the dog fight going. And, you know, I really wish they would do this with the CPUs. See how they're on top right now? They might be feeling good. Yeah, our GPUs on top. Well, you should probably work on your, your AMD things. And they do have a CPU, by the way, um, coming out in 2016. That's going to be a performing CPU. I'm waiting to see. Oh, that was a long time away. But I'm waiting to see. I'm excited to see what it's actually going to be. I think that's pretty much all I have to say today about this right now the rumors i don't want to get too much into it i also noticed that the um the, 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 the what is it the 970 has less CUDA cores or i think it's a 680 then that's 680 the the 980 actually has about 1600 CUDA cores if i remember correctly i don't remember which one so i don't know what's going on there less CUDA cores great performance i don't know if it's gonna really matter it shouldn't i mean obviously what this says here again these are all rumors i'm waiting to see people, Linus Detectives and, and Logan and um, oh, what's his name? The guy that 3D thing, I don't remember his name. He does the, like he, he's a great guy to watch, especially if you want to like get details and background information about everything. He just, he goes in, like his videos are like really long. I really look like, like around an hour long or so, an hour and 30 minutes. And you know, I, I sit there and I actually watch it. And, it's great. So I'm waiting for those guys to get the card and test it out and see what it's actually going to be. And um, yeah, so I don't want to go. I don't want. I don't, don't want to go any deeper. I mean, this this is a, as deep as it got. You, you can basically see what the scores are and what they're generally right around. And you know, because it's rumored, these are we don't know. We can't really trust them until these guys get the card and be able to test them. And unless. And really want to send something near me, you know. They, they, if, they, if they do, if they do, if they do, I mean, I, I, I would love that. They appreciate it. They send me a 980. They could send me a 980, you know. I can test it. You know, but that's not gonna happen. And that makes me sad.